Something that I've seen uh, very recently, which I loved is, uh, some people took all the content from Microsoft Learn, the documents they have been studying to prep for a Microsoft exam, and then they created an agent that actually quizzes them on said content. So the agent is there as your learning buddy. You ask it questions, it will vary in difficulty, it will uh, question you from different parts of the exam. So it's a really creative way that I've seen people use agents. So co-pilot agents are mostly used for small repetitive tasks. I've seen people talk about it and use it for the things where people need to do small, like not very important tasks, and they want to use co-pilot agents for that. I'm basically working within the, the data security area, which basically means a lot of the stuff is around sensitivity labels. And a key part, besides the technical bits and pieces, is user adoption. What I've been doing of basically trying to fill out, try out is um, building an agent which kind of reads the website or the SharePoint site, which explains which labels are there, what does the label mean? If I open up Word, I can ask Copilot, what label should I be applying to a document? And well, if it's been set up correctly, the answer should be this document needs a label of sensitivity, general, internal, maybe confidential, depending on the contents of the document. So I personally, my favorite agent that I use is the facilitator in Teams. So it's like a virtual coach meeting uh, in a meeting with all of the participants uh, that is helping not just you. So you don't have your um, individual co-pilot, let's say, sidebar that is like assisting you with some notes or whatnot. It's an actual virtual coach available for you in the meeting, available for everyone. So it's like a virtual person really assisting in the entire company. Using it within the document library to uh, get information out of, let's say, uh, applications. So we have like an agent and ask him, okay, can you give me the information out of all the applications, even it's in different languages? And then give it back within the table and then we get back a reset and we don't need to read the complete document. We go and ask with our agent if we have documents above X amount of VATs in our invoices and drafts and statement of works, which then will go for special approval. So we play around with that proof of concept with numbers and, and with, with, with you know texts within, within our um, IKM environments.